Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an HP Chromebook 11 G5. I'm gonna take you on a teardown or disassembly tour, show you how to get inside the computer and the various components you can access once you're inside. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip the computer over to access our bottom case screws. Now we're gonna take out all the screws on this bottom case. There's four here, two here, one in the middle, and three along that edge. And many of you will have these things. These are little rubber washers that fit over the screws to hide them. So I'm gonna take a small flathead, and I'm gonna gently pop these up. Try not to damage them, you can break them. But I'm just gonna get in there and dig those out. Um, also be aware the ones along the bottom are not shaped th the same. They're angled and they're thicker. So try to keep those separate, but I'm gonna pop all of these up and then I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of these bottom case screws. After the screws are removed, I'm gonna take my small flat pry tool and I'm gonna flip the computer over. And I'm gonna go along this seam between the palm rest and the bottom case. And I'm gonna pop this palm rest up from the bottom case. Now this may be a little bit of a process. It is kind of difficult to get this to pop up, but just go slow. Don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Keep it on the edge and firmly just pop the palm rest up as you go along. Now when you do get your palm rest up, don't just rip it off. If you look inside here, there's a large ribbon cable from your keyboard and a small ribbon cable from your touchpad. Those are still connected to the motherboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect those, take the palm rest off, and then I'll show you what I did to disconnect them when we have a better view. So this is your large connector for the keyboard ribbon cable, and this is the smaller one for the touchpad ribbon cable. They both work the same way. This clip is black, this clip is white, and they're very, very fragile, these kind of clips. The way that these clips work is you're gonna take a small, flat, plastic pry tool, and you're gonna gently, carefully slide it underneath that clip and pop that clip up. Same thing with the white one. Gently underneath, pop that clip up, and then the ribbon cables can disconnect. To plug them back in, you would get them in there nice and flush, make sure that they're straight, and then you just slide that clip down to secure the ribbon cables. I say they're fragile because these clips are easily breakable. Um, if you do break them, you won't be able to secure the ribbon cable uh, properly. So you may need to either replace them or replace your entire motherboard if those don't fasten down. So be very careful when you're going in there. As a general repair side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in a computer when you're working on it. If you need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll have a list of the tools and supplies that I use on this computer, as well as all of these replacement parts for this specific model computer. They'll all be in that link. So to remove my battery, I have a single screw here and the battery plugs into the motherboard right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that screw. So again, the computer plugs in here. As with any wires in a computer, you wanna to try to avoid pulling on the wires themselves if at all possible. If at all possible, you wanna just manipulate the plug. However, these plugs in this computer, there's not a lot of grip on, on the edge. It's very difficult to get that out without pulling on that wire. So unfortunately, what I had to do is lift the battery up get a firm grip on that battery cable cord and try to wiggle it out gently without damaging that cable. So it's not ideal. Um, again, you, you wanna tr avoid pulling on wires, but in this case, I couldn't. I'll have the battery model number and all the specs listed below in the description, and I'll also have a battery replacement option in that link that I told you about earlier with all the tools and replacement parts. And as a last side note about your battery, if you guys are here because your computer's not turning on, it is possible your battery's bad and needs to be replaced, but a computer should work with a bad battery and just a charger. 
Um, so if your computer is not turning on and you want to troubleshoot it and see what's going on, there'll be a video link above also below in the description on how to troubleshoot a computer that's not turning on because it may be something else other than just a bad battery. Your speakers are here. You have this one there and this one here. This one plugs into the other speaker through this wire that runs down through these grooves here and plugs into the motherboard right there. And just like the battery, unfortunately, you cannot really take that out at all without pulling on the wires just a little. So do a combination, pull on the wires a little and take your pry tool and, and try to slide that out so you don't have to put too much pressure on, on those wires. These speakers are not screwed in, they're just snapped in so you can pop those out. I will try to have some speaker replacement options below in that link I told you about with all the tools and replacement parts. As a side note, if you guys are having sound issues, um, if the sound sounds a little weird or if it's a little low, um, it may be that your speakers are bad and need to be replaced, but it could also be something else. You may just need to reset your operating system. Um, if that's the case, if you wanna troubleshoot that before replacing your speakers, there'll be a video link above, also below in the description showing you how to reset this type of Chromebook. There's your Wi-Fi card right there. It's held in by a single screw and the antenna wire come in through this hinge assembly and snap on right there. So after you unscrew it, you can snap those up. They're just snaps, they just come right up and off. Uh, to get the snaps back on, it's a little tricky if you're not used to it. They do have to be at a perfect 90 degree angle and then you can snap them on. If they're not at the correct angle and you push too hard, you can damage them. So just be patient, take your time, play with the angle. You will be able to snap those on. Um, I will have the Wi-Fi card uh, specifications below in the description. I'll also have a replacement Wi-Fi card below in that link that I told you about with all the tools and replacement parts. Your motherboard is here. Um, and to take the motherboard out, you have to undo all the motherboard screws and you'll note which ones they are because they'll have a white arrow or a white triangle next to the screws that need to come out to remove your motherboard. Uh, you will also have to unplug everything else, your USB board and the, and the ribbon cable right there, um, your Wi-Fi card, your LCD cable, um, your power jack. You'll have to unplug everything before you take your motherboard out. And I will also try to include a motherboard replacement in that link I told you about below with all the replacement tools and parts. They can be hard to find, but if I can find some, I'll, I'll try to have them there. To get your LCD assembly out, you would need to unplug your LCD cable here. It's the same kind of connection we saw with the uh, ribbon cables for your palm rest. You just take your pry tool and you pop that black clip up and you can release your cable. Uh, you wanna undo your antenna wire and then you wanna unscrew your hinge assembly, the hinge right there. Then you can get your LCD assembly off and you can replace it with a new assembly. So that's the video guys, I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those at least a couple times a day. And as always guys, please remember to like and share if this video was helpful, if you think it can help someone else. And also feel free to subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer videos. Thanks so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. So that's the video guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those at least a couple times a day. And as always guys, please remember to like and share if this video was helpful, if you think it can help someone else. And also feel free to subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer videos. Thanks so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.